welcome everybody to Study in Slovakia. My name is Peter and we're with our great guest Mohammed today. And if you are interested in studying Slovakia, please check out the website studyinslovakia.sk. Woo, I can't talk today. You ready to start the show? Yeah. Boom, let's do it. All right, guys, welcome, welcome back to Study in Slovakia. So we're with our amazing guest. Now, why don't you tell the trillions and trillions of people around the world who are watching this everywhere, high pressure for a million dollars. Who are you? <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Mohammed Irfan Aziz Dawood from uh, India. Mm -hmm. So uh, I came from a town, it's a city called Chennai from South India. And uh, here, actually, I am lucky to say that I was the first Indian batch in the Košice. Mm. So actually, like we are uh, just 20 persons came from the India, yeah. like for 10 for the masters and 10 for the bachelors. Oh, OK. So and uh, now I'm working in, uh, in a company like called Smallpeer. It's an uh, electronics automobile company. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud that I am a first batch here and I can be an example for my juniors. Oh, I mean, now that's amazing. Uh, so what you, uh, where did you study school? Uh, I finished my school, like uh, high school in, uh, in my same city, Chennai. Mm -hmm. And I finished my bachelor's also in India, mm -hmm. in uh, Chennai. And I came here for my master's. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, my plan was not come to Europe. Of course, yeah, of course. And uh, my first plan after finishing my bachelor's, it was to go for work in Dubai. Uh, <laughs> so how'd you end up in Slovakia? Uh, actually, I, uh, I was I prepared everything, documents and visa for the processing for the Dubai. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end, and in my home, like they were asking, why can't you study masters uh, instead of going to job now? Yeah. So you will get another degree in your life. So yeah. it'll be good for your career. So they told, uh, okay. Then I was thinking, okay, let's do something else because in the bachelor's I was not going that much, so I need to prove myself in the master's. Mm -hmm. And then I was searching first in the US, then uh, in the Michigan, and, but it was financially quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So then uh, I was searching in uh, Lancashire in uh, England, yeah. then even it was quite a lot, like around 25,000 pounds. Yeah. And then at last uh, I found in Europe and uh, in Slovakia, in Košice, mm -hmm. and through the European Study Center and study in Slovakia. So actually, I was not. I was never thinking that I will come to Slovakia and study in my life, but it happened, and uh, really, I am very happy that actually I, I came. I came here with a plan that I will move after two years mm -hmm. to back to India. But I like this country very much. It's already four years, and I'm still living here. And it's very good. All right. So uh, did, where did you go? And so Košice, where did you go? Technical University? Yes, I finished my master's in uh, Technical University of Košice. And all right. So what was your school experience like at the Technical University? Uh, it was amazing, really, because it's something new, very new for me. Mm -hmm. For example, in India, we study with a group of people like 70, 80 people in a class. But mm -hmm. here it was just six and everything was in a practical education. And I was able to understand everything what I need to learn, what I was not learning in bachelor's, here I can cope up with everything and I learned everything. Mm. And uh, at Technical University, what was, what was the, like the hardest class? What, like, what was the biggest challenge you had to overcome? Uh, in Technical University, uh, meanwhile, the, my thesis was, was a little bit harder for me because mm -hmm. uh, it's something newer, very, very new. In India, if you want to do thesis, you need to, you can be a four people together and finish the project. But here, I must do it alone. Ah, yeah. So I was working hard, so the thesis was harder, but the professors and uh, my colleague, like the guys who were studying with me, they were helping me a lot to how to solve the problems. And mainly the professor, the professor was very friendly to me. Mm. So actually, before finishing my studies, I got the job here. So I was maintaining both, like studies plus job. Mm -hmm. So he was very helping me through the online and even I was meeting him every week. And so it was a really helpful from the university side. Mm. So the, th the thesis was a little bit uh, harder, but I finished it somehow. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad everything worked out in that department. Can you tell the audience, uh, how did you get from technical university to your current position? 
Actually, like uh, I wanted to work well, like what I studied. Yes. And uh, first I was applying to an English speaking companies, but uh, unfortunately this is my first job in my career. Yes. And uh, they were needing a more experience in the English speaking companies and even other companies. So mm -hmm. uh, first in the very beginning I was rejected, but yeah. later uh, this company, they gave me an opportunity to prove myself in my career and uh, I got the job here. So. Mm. And so, it, so like I'm doing what I studied now, so it's uh, something, uh, something else uh, related to the electronics uh, department. All right, so let's let's dive into details from that. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think from your experience at Technical University is helping you now? What what did what do you think you can apply from there to your current career? Uh, yes, it's a lot of things to say. Uh, Great, that's, <laughs> <laughs> Technical University will like that advertisement <laughs> so it's like uh, self-analyzing like the problem and to solve it myself not to depend on someone else yeah. as I told you about my thesis so in that way the technical university helps me a lot so to analyze the problem and to find out where is the exact error and to clear the error and to guide the team in the mm. right way so even I'm uh, uh, started now as a career in my in my, in my career so yeah. Uh, it's very good to sometimes to my colleagues I used to tell like this is the mistake and we need to solve this and this and they are very happy that I'm finding a mistakes and uh, to solve the problem as soon as possible not making a delay yeah so in this way they are uh, really helpful and the education they taught me as a practical education as I told you here I need to deal with the servers and uh, with the autobus like with the buses and trains mm -hmm. like uh, we are doing actual multimedia systems so uh, I will, I will deal with the real devices, not with just in the software plus hardware too. So due to the practical education, I can really found out the problems where I making some mistake or some errors. Mm. Well, now that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. All the, <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. I'm glad everything worked out for you school wise. <laughs> so how about, uh, let's, let's dive into this. So uh, now there's increasing amount of Indians uh, go into school, like especially technical university yes. and all that. What would you say the difference culture or living style between India and Slovakia? What do you think are some uh, compare and contrast similarities and differences? Uh, similarity is the age because the the the, ang the angness of the students is still in the same in yeah. India and here in Slovakia, but there is a lot of difference in the way of teaching mm -hmm. and the culture between uh, India and Slovakia. Because in India, generally, we are very close culture that we don't explore more. Like, for example, if you go to in school in India, you must just study and uh, return back to home and again study. Mm -hmm. It's like a routine. But here, you have a chance to explore more, like uh, going outside with the friends and mm -hmm. talking openly and uh, uh, the mainly the co-education. Still in India, you can see some place, the co-education, just it's a boys' college and, or girls' college. But mm -hmm. here, it's not the problem. You can... You can be very friendly to everyone and you have uh, thoughts to share with everyone and it's very good here to mm -hmm. study. And like living here day to day, how is it for you? Uh, like in Košice and Braslava, how is it living for yeah. you? Yeah, uh, it was very strange for me in the beginning because uh, when I come from India, it's uh, my city having 18 million population and I came to Košice <laughs> like a, a very small city. Yeah. It was strange for me and we were the first Indian batch and they, we were looking at uh, us some like strange. But later and later they understand that we are from India and uh, we have uh, came to study here. And uh, later it was very friendly mm -hmm. and now I like it very much compared to Bratislava and Košice. And the Bratislava is uh, more bigger than the Košice. Yeah. And uh, here is there is more opportunities to like work and studying and everything. Hmm. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Advertisement for Slovakia. Yes. <laughs> what will you tell? Why don't you tell everybody why should somebody potentially study in Slovakia? Uh, I used to tell to everybody that uh, you need to come and study in Slovakia because uh, mainly the population is very less, so you can gain knowledge easily and quickly. And uh, there is a very good professors who can teach you everything in a practical way. So you don't want to put your theory and mug up every day, night mm -hmm. and day, and go and vomit in examinations. <laughs> yeah. So just study what you what you are studying by practical way, and it will be very helpful for you when you are working in the future. And here there is a lot of careers like opening now and even in the corona situation they are taking many people inside the companies so 
it's very good oppor opportunity to grow in Slovakia and to move on if you want later on other European countries. Welcome back to Study in Slovakia. Our guest not only is a great interviewee, he was kind enough to also take uh, me and my friend <laughs> to the train station. So <laughs> that's how cool he is. So let me ask you a first, uh, quick first question. Yep. Uh, so you mentioned earlier, so this company, you are doing it fully in Slovak. How long did it take you to learn Slovak and how uh, did you learn Slovak? Actually, <laughs> you will not believe if I said that how I learned the Slovak language. I won't believe uh, it. <laughs> I, learned, I learned through Google Translate. Wow. Really, I was just I started to learn some basics from the Google Translate, and uh, when I was studying, I used to work more part-time jobs here, mm -hmm. because here in Slovakia you can have a lot of part-time jobs in Bratislava, uh, and uh, I used to work a lot of part-time jobs, and I used to have a lot of friends here in Bratislava, uh, Slovak friends, so they helped me to make a sentences, and I learned my own through the Google Translate, and I applied everything. In when I was speaking with the Slovak friends and in the beginning it was uh, make I made mistakes more but later it was very well and I learned a lot from the Google Translate I didn't go to any course or something I full and fully learned the Google Translate and this was really helpful for me wow I mean I have to say just trying to <laughs> I mean, what, 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 like, the, I think an average person will be like, why? Like, what motivated you so much to yeah. make it here? Like, even just going and studying through Google Translate, what motivated you so much to yeah. make it in Slovakia? Yes, when I was uh, coming to, when, when I came to Bratislava the first time, I see many foreigners here, here and they are speaking Slovak language. Then I was thinking, then why I can't try it? So. I was thinking even uh, I saw many Chinese people, Vietnamese and uh, Japanese and even Korean and uh, Americans. Some people they are speaking in, Slo in Slovak language and they are working too. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking then why we can't try in Slovak language to work and uh, live here. Then I tried to learn bit a bit, bit, bit. So uh, in the two years I learned almost half of the Slovak language and now I am completely with it. And now I'm working in a Slovak company as an alone international guy with all of Slovaks. <laughs> wow. So I, I'm not speaking English daily, I just speak Slovak daily. <laughs> uh, actually, I told that I came here four years back and now I'm working in a company as a uh, support engineer. And uh, even as a side, I opened a small company for the courier services too. Mm. So uh, here, even they believe in uh, foreigners and they are allowing the, us to open some small companies and run on our own. So in this company, I'm the boss and I'm the labor, so I'm doing on my own self. Uh, as a career on mm -hmm. some part time so uh, so as I, as I told you here there is you, you have a lot of opportunity to do and grow in your life so you can better come to Slovakia and study here and grow up so that is it for our interview today so just want to thank our guest uh, it was very nice uh, and talk with Mr. Peter it was very nice to talk with him and I shared my all of experience so you guys get to know it and come to Slovakia. Yes, so if you are interested in coming to Slovakia, please check us out at www.studyinslovakia.sk. So, my name is Peter and I literally have a train to catch right now, but it's been uh, definitely great. I definitely enjoyed the interview, so thank you guys very much and you guys take care. <laughs>